Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to Creator on Wheels. I am Shiv and morning when I was driving to office, uh, when I was doing the video that you saw previously in my channel, uh, which was about the uh, Nissan uh, Kicks service experience, I happened to see one guy uh, in a signal when I was driving and I got reminded of an incident that I was, I bumped into uh, a few months back. And in fact, like, um, few weeks back, uh, MSK or Salim Khan uh, from Mumbai, uh, he had done a very specific video about this particular topic, which is uh, getting duped or getting cheated uh, while in a, a different city or uh, different state and something like that. So in fact, like I had commented on his uh, uh, YouTube video as well, but I thought like, let me also share my experience as to what kind of people that you bump into. Uh, when you're out in the road and this happened right here in Bangalore right here in Bangalore and pretty close to my house as well so This was like I, I don't remember the exact uh, Month or anything, but definitely it was much before March uh, I taken my car out for a wash uh, and uh, I left my car for wash the, the guy was working on my car and I was uh, standing uh, like I would say like about 10 20 feet away from my car and I was leaning against a wall and I was just watching what's happening with the wash and um, one sadhu guy um, came to me and I, I could see him come towards me and I knew that uh, he'll come and ask money and all those stuff but I was just like standing there quiet watching my car uh, he came to me and he started uh, talking to me like okay I, I see in your eyes that you have uh, a very good potential you're a hard-working guy and blah 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 so many things he started to praise I was like okay fine yeah I mean I just like turned my head and I was like watching something else then I saw that this guy was doing something with his hands then I turned back towards him then I saw that he was waving his hand in the air and he was trying to do some abracadabra kind of a thing and then um, he asked me to um, stretch my hand I told like why he told like no no you stretch I'll, I'll show you something and then I stretched and then he puts his uh, fist on my palm and I think one or two I don't, I don't remember how many but just definitely more than one um, green stone this this colored stone that you usually find in uh, terraniums or aquarium right one of those stones uh, he put it in my hand and then he told like uh, a green stone has come I mean, he gave some name to it. I, I don't remember the name also. Uh, he told that a green stone has uh, appeared from nowhere. That means that you have a green signal for everything that you wish to achieve in your life. Uh, you have a very huge potential to grow big, become rich and all those stuff. And uh, big money is waiting for you just weeks or months away and things like that. I was like, come on, stop it. Like I've come for a car wash just allow me to concentrate on that get my car cleaned up and go then I just um, I mean he, he was not allow, allowing me to take out my hand uh, in which he had kept that stone and I just pulled out one uh, 10 rupee note from my pocket and I just gave it to him and I told okay fine go thank you uh, for some reason he got a little bit uh, uh, offended maybe okay I mean I could see it from his face he's like what is this what are you trying to do I told him like you just take it and go I don't I'm not trying to do anything but you just take it and go he's like no you're insulting Baba I asked him who is Baba then that stone he took it out of my hand he uh, waved his hand in air a few times and then he opened his palm uh, there was a, a Sai Baba, very small uh, Sai Baba statue in his hand the typical ones that we keep in the car uh, like I mean I have a uh, Ganesh idol here but people keep uh, different uh, deities that they follow so he takes out the small Sai Baba deity from his palm in the same hand in which earlier there was stone so it, I, I know this is all like a trick of hand like what typically what magicians do uh, they hide it somewhere in their sleeves and all those things they take it out and like that. see what was coming what was there in your hands as a green signal was uh, Sai Baba himself the Baba himself and um, he had come to bless you to get uh, prosperity, wealth and all those stuff and you are insulting him by giving 10 rupees I was like what do you want me to do and he's telling Harawala note de do 
वॉट यू मीन हरा वाला नोट दे दो पांच सौ रुपए का नोट दे दो देन आई लाइक आई टू लाइक आई एम नॉट मैड टू गिव यू फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज फॉर वॉट जॉय आई शुड गिव फाइव हंड्रेड एंड ऑल दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन इज हैपनिंग इन हिंदी एंड अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ ब्रोकन ही इज ट्राइंग टू टॉक लिटिल बिट इन कनाडा आई एम ट्राइंग टू टॉक इन अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ ब्रोकन हिंदी एंड थिंग्स लाइक एंड ही टेल्स दैट यू आर गेटिंग सो मच ऑफ वेल्थ इन द कमिंग डेज एंड यू कैंट इवन स्पेयर वन फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज नोट फॉर बाबा Baba will not be happy with you. I told like let that come, then I'll meet you and give. There is no point in me giving you advance uh, for something which has not come. Then is like no until you give it will not come to you. I told if I give it will go rather than come to me. Then he was like no no you should not treat it like this. You should respect Baba. Then only you will get whatever you want. I just told boss I gave you ten rupees. If you want to keep it you keep it. If not you give it back to me. You go. don't waste my time because i was like i think i was in a hurry to go back home get the car wash and go back home because i think that evening i had some um, function to attend i guess but the moment i told like if you don't want to give it back and go he immediately put the 10 rupees in his pocket and uh, the other uh, stone which was still in my hand i think I, i think i told you right there were two or something stones so one of the stones he had magically converted it into the sai baba statue And then uh, he he just like he opened my hand he he picked that the other stone from my hand i at the point when he picked it up i actually thought that he will convert that all to that also into some other statue and he'll uh, build a story but uh, thankfully he just picked it up he put it in his uh, bag whatever the jola or whatever you call it right he just put it in that and uh, he left and while he was leaving he was continuously cribbing i mean i i could hear him that he was creeping that people don't respect money people don't respect baba's blessing uh, people are getting wealth but they don't want to share wealth they don't want to make others happy they are very selfish and all as like fine thank you like <laughs> this like i mean if you are begging i mean no uh, disrespect to who, whichever god it is and all the stuff but when you're begging it's begging okay don't bring in god name in between all the things don't try to build up stories around god okay you need money you are asking for money whoever is the person who is giving based on his capacity or based on his willingness he will give or not he will give little or he'll give more there's no hard and fast rule that every beggar comes everyone has to spare 500 rupees note for him and i was just laughing at myself like how come like even beggars have started becoming they say right the beggars uh, can't become to like I don't know what is it called. Beggars can't be choosers, something like that, right? So even beggars are coming and asking for like hara wala note, that five hundred rupees note. I'm just wondering, like, okay, there was a time when you give one rupee, two rupee, or even fifty paisa. Beggars used to be like happy; they used to smile and they go back. Now you give them even ten rupees. I mean, I don't know. I, I for their uh, capabilities or whatever, I don't know if I should call ten rupees as more or less. I didn't wanted to send him back. nor like i will mean, i didn't wanted to disrespect him uh, so i just gave him 10 rupees like he selling like instead of 10 i should have given him 500 okay you ask 20 that is still okay you ask 10 more or you ask like 20 more let's start he is asking 500 rupees <laughs> that's too much and as i told you the way he got offended when i gave him 10 rupees and the way he reacted when i told if you don't want give the 20 rupees and go back and the way he was speaking that itself <laughs> shows the type of people that you bump into uh, and uh, after he left i was like i mean uh, the car wash the shop the owner that guy came and told like these guys uh, come like very frequently here they keep doing the same magic trick they keep asking for 100 rupees 200 rupees and all those things they take out colored stone from their uh, pocket they put it in their customers hand and they say peela wala note de do hara wala note de do and all these things <laughs> it's really funny i mean i thankfully i was in my um, own city own area very close to my house it it was kind of like a crowded place where there were a lot of people nearby and again i was in a car wash facility so there was there were these people who were around me just imagine if this was like when i was in outskirts or when i'm in a different city and such people approach and when i say no or something and when they get offended they start retaliating back or like if assume if they are armed and they want to make sure that i give whatever i have with 
me at that point of time look at the situation so quite often like i usually like i mean i this this might be typically very typical of me but i usually avoid giving money to beggars beat here in the city beat like something like like now in traffic jam when people come and ask for money or even when i'm outside or even when i'm near temples or anything i avoid giving money to the beggars that's my own personal decision i have my own reasons for it i need not tell it here but uh, imagine people come in uh, disguise like this to ask money and they're trying to impress you with all this magic tricks and they're trying to impress you by taking god's name and all those things and convert a green stone into a god statue and ask you a hara wala note or pila wala note or whatever all those things uh, all that i want to tell is uh, be careful especially when such people comes right i mean it's easy to identify them like the moment somebody comes like and ask you money it's better you avoid them okay and if at all if you're in the car just pull up your windows just avoid them rather than you giving them some money getting into some kind of confrontations or whatever and then it leading to some some other kind of conversations or whatever just avoid just be you be to yourself just tell no nod your head and just keep quiet rather than getting into any trouble this guy did not do any harm to me let me let me be very clear this guy did not do any harm to me but his body language the way he was talking when he was moving away from me i mean it felt like as if i owed him money and i did not give him back and he is upset for that it it is it, it looked very evident like that so somebody like a third person who would have seen it from a little bit of distance they would have felt that i i i had to give him some money and i am asking him to go away and that's why this guy is shouting at me so it looks like that so with all possibilities the crowd who might gather when a confrontation happens they might come in their favor rather than your favor so always better avoid such people don't get into such conversations don't get into enjoying all these magic tricks that happen on the road uh, and again you might be willing to give 500 rupees but that's left to you but uh, this was my experience uh, several days and weeks after this happened i feel it was funny but uh, at times when i think about it and when i hear what happened with the msk especially when he was in north india like way far away from his own Uh, comfort area which is his own city and state it it becomes really difficult okay if, if it is in a uh, alien place like when you don't know the language you don't know the people around you and all those things it becomes very difficult so try to stay away from all such things try to keep yourself safe and try to keep yourself calm so that you don't go into that confrontation or retaliation mode from your end also when such people come into you so that's what i wanted to tell about uh, i notice one of such guys while i was driving in the morning and as i was very busy talking about this whole nissan service experience i thought like okay let me talk about it later but uh, now that e- it's evening and i am driving back home and another, i have another one hour of uh, travel still left i thought i'll at least uh, talk about this one and um, see what best i can communicate regarding this particular topic so that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it and uh, if at all if you have uh, bumped into any such uh, similar situations uh, please let me know in the comment section below like i i want to hear like what all type of people that we bump into especially when it comes to begging i i want to hear stories from you so please do write in the comment section below of your experiences let me see what what competitive or better ones that we come across okay so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you again in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye. Happy Sikara.